when questions arise. A lot of churches begin the new year with a fast. So I'm talking about when questions arise. When he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterwards he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. Matthew 4, verses 2 to 3. At a moment when Jesus was physically vulnerable, the devil brought his first temptation. There is no sin in being hungry. So what is the issue here? Satan was challenging Jesus. If you are fully God, then you have God's power in you. And right now you are in a very hard place. Why don't you use your power God gave to you to deliver yourself? He gave it to you to use properly, didn't he? Ha <laughs> ha, be careful of this temptation. Here is one of the most insidious temptations facing truly godly people. Like your example, Jesus, you have a passion for God. You have set your heart to be wholly surrendered to him. Then the Lord leads you into a wilderness experience. After a while, questions arise in your mind. You begin to lose your bearings, wondering about God's eternal purposes in your life. While you try to pray and gain victory, Satan's temptation seems fiercer than ever. The enemy wants you to act independently of the Father. The devil says, your suffering is not of God. You do not have to go through this. You have God's power in you through the Holy Spirit. Just speak the word and free yourself. Satisfy your own hunger. How did Jesus answer the devil's temptation? It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That's verse 4. Christ said, in essence, My coming to earth is not about my needs, hurts or physical comforts. I came to give to humankind, not to save myself. Even at the height of his suffering, Jesus did not lose sight of his eternal purpose. Let's not lose sight of our purpose. And if our Lord learned dependence and compassion through a wilderness experience, so will we.